mean, let's see, I mean, election. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the most people that lived in Salem at that time were about 400 people. Yeah. And a lot of them were away in the world. My dad was away in the RAF. But suddenly, 3,000 millions a lot of people down the road, you can imagine the impact of that. Yeah. And um, my collection is not just, just about aircraft and bombing and all It's the impact that people had on the Americans and on the I say I've got um, albums and all their personal stories, and, and they have been digitised. I've got, I've got you much louder on there. Okay, well, I'll put these away then. Are they still attached somewhere? Yeah, they're still attached. Hang on. Ready? You've got uh, Crowfield there, the grass strip. Have oh you got yeah, it? yeah, yeah, gotcha. And somewhere around here there's a mast, isn't it? Uh, um, Oh, Mendelsham. Is it Mendelsham? Yeah, yeah it's it? beyond. It's beyond the. Um, if you look, I think you find there. You look, it's in a line between us and the wind farm there. Right. Oh, there it is. Right in front of us there. Yeah. Like. See it? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I must admit, this with that open. This that's keeps nice and cool, doesn't that's, it? That's that's all we've got, unfortunately. Yeah, but yeah. well, it keeps nice and cool. I have seen these with sort of those pool air vents in. Yeah. And I thought, well, that would be ideal. Where would you put it, though? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. I've seen them down there and there. Yeah. But that's why I like this cap because it's got this. Yeah. Just to keep the airplane. Same, the same as yours, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my goal is to, by the end of the year, to be able to take Rosie, my wife, for a spin around here, up over the broads. Yeah. So that we can see the Norfolk broads from the sky, rather than being on the broads like we used to be last year. Okay, no, that's a good idea. So that, that's my yeah. goal. I think it's important to have a, to have a goal. Although when I do pass my test, I've still got to do 10 hours solo before I can take uh, uh, Golf Charlie Delta Juliet Bravo. That was John. Golf Charlie Delta Juliet Bravo, pass your message. Golf Charlie Delta Juliet Bravo, this is an RV4 approaching from here. There's uh, five miles to run. We're testing uh, at runway right here. Juliet Bravo, it's uh, there are six right hand, I would suggest for you, probably the QFE 1013. 1013 and 06, uh, 06. left hand, is that? Right hand, 06, right hand. 06, right hand, thank you, Father. I'll do an overhead joint if that's all right. Roger. Just film that so that John could see it. Right. Do you know, it's funny you should say that, but I had exactly the same trouble with the fuel gauge on my boat. Yeah. I was doing exactly the same thing as that you did that one's doing. And was that an earth problem or it, I think it was actually, yeah. We yeah. Had, we had it all out, cleaned it all up. Um and uh, re reattach the earth, and after that we didn't have a problem. Right. But that was exactly the same as what mine was doing. Yeah. So it's just down there somewhere, isn't it? It's just round here where's that air museum. What, Flixton? Is it Flixton? Yeah. Yeah. In fact, isn't it that over there in the trees? Could well be, yeah. Just over there? Yeah. 
got some pretty amazing stuff in there, really, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, I, I went in there a couple of years ago and had a look around. Um, yeah, it's got some good stuff in there. It's worth a look, anyway. Good. Yeah. And it's free, I think. Yeah. Or you just donate, you know, a little donation. Yeah. I'll make a call, all right? Yeah, OK. Seething Radio, go for Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel. Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel, partial miss. Go for Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel is uh, Joe Del DR 1050 out of Maitland to yourselves. Presently five miles south for landing instructions. Echo Hotel 06 right hand QFE 1013. Are you going to do a circuit or are you going straight in? No, I'm going to go over the top. Yeah. Okay. Gives me time to just to get sorted it out in my head. Yeah. So the overhead is 2,000 no, right. right. Because they've got somebody coming in behind. Uh, Echo Hotel, what's your range? Say again, sorry. Uh, what range are you at the moment? Uh, we're two miles. Roger, report overhead, please. One other one joining. Uh, we'll go, go for Echo Hotel. Right, one, where is it? Golf Echo Hotel is overhead. Echo Hotel, Roger. Report crosswind for zero 06 right hand. Rather bumpy. It is a little, isn't it? Like a hotel uh, traffic for you is a uh, Cirrus SR22 just uh, about to turn final on 06. Really? Uh, we're looking go for a Echo Hotel. Have you got it? No, I can't see it. Yeah. We are crosswind at present. Golf Echo Hotel, Roger. Ah, yes, got it. Yeah, he's coming in. Okay. Charlie Delta, final 06. November 4, Charlie Delta, roger the wind northerly at 3 knots. Four Charlie Delta. Golf Echo Hotel downwind. Golf Echo Hotel, roger. Sorry. 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 Airbrake coming down. Change of trim. Bit of a curved approach this one, I'm afraid. Yeah, okay. Echo Hotel final. Echo Hotel zero five zero at six knots. Wanted to move. <laughs> Did, didn't it? Mm. Well, that was sort of bumpier than I thought. Not necessarily landing, but the actual whole flight. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay, I was going to do a flyby for the tower on a 2-4 approach, is that possible? 
you can. You'll have the wind up your bum. It's uh, zero four zero now at seven. Okay, I'll do a two four approach and then I'll do a hundred and eighty back to land on zero six. Yeah, do a couple if you want. There's no other back. I mean, this looks as if it's it's a, in, a, in an original packing, isn't it? Oh, stop it. Yeah. Is that what they call chaff? Yeah. Um, yeah, I've never seen that before. Just a little aluminium strip, isn't it? About in 1984, I started writing to him and asked him, and uh, that took. I suppose about 70 letters to really, for them to, first of all, you had to clear the decks. You had to make sure that they knew you were not in the village at that time, or an old girlfriend yeah. to find, to find, to find, to find. Okay. But they were still working, and they weren't ready to look back at that time. And they started having reunions so they could talk to each other. Because I, I can remember the first A4 size envelope came, and I opened it up and this black and white full pipes came up and, and I thought I can do it. But that was a big struggle and I began to think that they didn't want to um, get involved and then suddenly I got the letter from this man and he said, you're never going to know what this um, new letter meant to me. I thought everyone over there had forgotten what we did. He said, and um, I walked into my office with my head held high and actually told them what I did. And I thought, that's what I'm doing it for. After that, um, it is slowly. I, I've had various big reunions over here for me. I've been to America uh, to their reunions over there. And, uh, and um, I mean, that's a unique collection. I mean, I mean, the most people who lived in Salem at that time were about 400 people. And a lot of them were away in the wall. My dad was away in the aisle. But suddenly 3,000 miles, a lot of people down the road, you can imagine the impact of that. Yeah. And um, my collection is not just just about aircraft and bombing and all that. It's the impact that it had on the Americans and on us here. You know, so, uh, I say I've got um, albums and all their personal stories. And, and they have been digitised. You know, the uh, South North District Council gave an allowance of three thousand pounds for that to get digitized so hopefully it won't be lost. So what are these people doing here in America? Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So no other base, nothing. This is just just the four friends and uh, support units. Well it's an absolutely wonderful collection. Well you know that's doing what I want to keep the memories of which is why I started it. 
yeah. hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of mothers, grandchildren, and I mean, this year well, it's been tremendous. And they've had people all the time because they came over for the D Day. I mean, they flew four missions from here for the D Day, and um, a lot of them came over and went on trips. They came here before they went or after they went. I've been busy since April. The various different ones are coming and, and different tour groups and everything like that. That's, well, thank you very much and well done. Thank you. <laughs>